In this sequence of projects for Scratch Junior, we continue to reinforce and introduce a variety of coding practices and concepts. Our sequence begins with a maze challenge that asks coders to not only solve mazes using motion blocks, but to create their own mazes for their peers to solve. Our next project reinforces understandings of using message blocks in a short story about giving a gift to an alien visiting Earth. The next project asks coders to create a mini research project about creatures that can fly and introduces transition scenes to move from one backdrop to another. We then explore a multi-page story with a moral where the moral in the example project is to not play tag inside the school. Next, coders will revisit simulating costume changes in Scratch Jr. by creating a fun story about a wizard who uses magic to either help people or to play pranks on them. The following project is another mini research project about caves. We then explore using motion blocks in different environments through a project about a silly monkey who does acrobatic stunts. The project titled Our Class is a fictional or true story about something that happened to a class of sprites. We then explore the second set of Ninja Maze Challenges, which focuses on diagonal movements that require coders to explore parallelism through motion blocks. The following project is a simple rain simulator, which asks coders to consider how clouds and rain might move with the wind. The Can You Find the Sprite game asks coders to create a hide-and-seek style game where a user tries to find a sprite hidden within a scene. And the Fall Break project asks coders to create a true or imaginary story about what a sprite will do on Fall Break. As always, this sequence concludes with a randomized synthesis project where coders apply their understandings by storyboarding their own projects for randomly generated project ideas. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org where you can also learn about our high quality professional development.